questions that we've got. Uh, Humphrey Grizzly Ox here says, Dear Ed, what do you think is the best uh, accessory work to get my abductors working better during squat? His knee starts shifting in. And then what do you think about the 5 through one program for a competitive raw lifter? Uh, do you think it is uh, possible eating paleo for health issues as a power lifter? Well, the paleo, yeah, of course. There's nothing wrong with being healthy. As long as you're getting enough fat for, for an energy source, it's not a problem at all. Um, uh, the, the, the 531 stuff, Jim Wendler, I know he has a program for, for raw powerlifting. And all you can do is try it. As, as long as you set set it low enough for when you start, it will it, it will help to a degree. But every, everything helps to a degree. But just all, all you can do is try it. Absolutely. And then the abductors uh, for, for working a better squat, the knees start to shift in. Either... Either sometimes you abduct too much, which means you point your toes out too much, and they'll, and they'll come in, or something like as easy like I talked about earlier with a, a, an insert your foot uh, in, in your shoe for an art support. A lot of times, if you, if you put an art support, it solves that right away. Good insight, there. Hey, Joe uh, Sebecker says I get sharp, stabbing headaches up the neck, throughout the cranium, and in the eyes, especially after deadlifting. Seems to come in phases for weeks at a time, looking into changing head positions when lifting, but it's, it's not working for him. Got any ideas what the problem could be? What should he do? I've had it before, like doing heavy leg presses or something like that. Okay. Uh, massage, stretch your neck, get it adjusted. That's about all you can do. A lot of times that's all it takes. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Saul Burrell says, uh, what is the best bench shirt to get? So you're looking for a specific uh, recommendation. All guys have benched huge in all different bench shirts. I was sponsored by Inzer in the, in the old days, um, so I wore Inzer. But there's plenty of guys that wear, uh, all the guys from Elite, there's huge benchers out of there that's, that's all metal. Uh, a lot of IPF guys have worn a bunch of Titan and there's world records there. A whole bunch of Inzer world records. So all you can do is, is just figure out your body type and, and go from there. But, you know, it's a hit or miss. Yeah, that's all this is. It's uh, Garrett Gunn says, uh, what did your deadlift training look like before you pulled 901 Raw at 220? In the off-season, I had gone up to a conventional Raw pull with no belt, with 855 for two, and then right after that, an 875 for one. Then I went right into my in-season work with sumo, which is only usually six workouts, okay. sumo before the meet, and I would do some light conventionals afterwards to keep my back and stuff strong. But it was like something like a 760 for five, 780 for five, 800 for five, 820 uh, for two, uh, or 820 for three, 840 for three, 860, 880, and 900 for two. That was, and that was just with the belt. Next lady. All right. Uh, Andrew uh, Solaire says, uh, training split for powerlifting, he's, I guess he's asking, is that a good idea? No, split training just, for powerlifting. No, nah, it's just what, what the days are going to be. Uh, Monday I squat and do some other leg stuff. Tuesday I, I, I bench and uh, do a little bit of curls. Uh, Wednesday I take off, Thursday I deadlift and do more back work. Friday I do some shoulders, some close grips, a little bit of extra tricep work. That's it. Four days, real easy. Excellent. Now, if, if you have to reduce it to three, then you do. Or if you can add another one, I don't really like to add another one because then it costs too much. Stick with four as opposed to going with yeah. five, but it's okay to do three, three. You know, based on your schedule. Right. Uh, Chris Heisner says, uh, Hi, Ed. I'm in the eighth week of your amazing 10-week uh, deadlift program, and it's going well. After completion, how long would you suggest I take off before trying another 10-week session? I was going to switch things up and try a squat program for a few weeks, but I'd also like to avoid injury. He's now turning 42. Congratulations, happy birthday. Do you have any suggestions about a good transition from, from the deadlift program to a squat? No, it's a, you can go right into it. It, shouldn't, it, shouldn't, it actually shouldn't bother you at all, as long as you're recovered enough. Um, just make sure you stretch, and, and that maybe may the first week after the deadlift program, take it as a lighter week, like a, a deload type week, where you just do some light stuff, and. Loosen up and stretch a little bit more, so then you're ready to, to go right into it the following week. No, 
no, you should be fine. At 42, you know, happy birthday, and we just see you. Excellent. This wraps up our questions, our Q&A session here for this week. We but encourage you guys to get one more thing about the ebook. We're going to be working on an ebook pretty soon. Uh, keep sending some questions, and we'll even throw in some of those and mention your names in the ebook, just if they're good enough, that is. Yeah. But keep sending them in. Thank you. Thanks, guys.